Hi everyone, it's Claire Jarvis here at Restore Fitness Therapies and in today's video I wanted to answer a question which comes up a lot amongst people trying to decide kind of whether to do yoga or Pilates which is what is the difference between the two um, and I've heard people try to describe that one is maybe more focused on core strength and one is more spiritual than the other and you know both of those things might be right up to a degree but I feel that the easiest way the clearest way to describe the difference to people uh, and the, the way which people seem to understand the best is when I tell them that there are actually six guiding principles in Pilates and these six principles should be self-evident in the classes that you attend no matter where you go in the world to attend a class or what sort of platform you're using it shouldn't matter what instructor you go to or what even stream or type of pilates or you know awarding body you're going through these six guiding principles should be self-evident in the language that the instructor uses and you should see them clearly coming through in all the teaching and all the exercises that you are doing and you'll know that you are getting good instruction and you're in a good class when you know that those principles are present so I think it's really valuable for people to know what those principles are and to keep an eye out for them basically in the way that I teach and all of my instructors teach we make sure that it's really visible to people that those principles are there and once you know what those principles are most people find it so much easier to connect with their Pilates classes, to connect with their bodies, to understand what it is they're trying to achieve, that it's not just a physical movement, there is more to it than that. And once they start connecting with their body differently by understanding these principles, their progress just skyrockets. So I really wanted to share with you today what these six principles are. And in following videos, we're going to go into each one uh, in a little bit more detail detail so that you really understand what they are and I think you're going to really value this knowledge which doesn't get shared that often. Now there are more principles out there which have kind of emerged over time with different streams of Pilates as people have gone off and sort of adapted it in slightly different ways but the six I'm telling you about are the six core principles which should always be there and the first one is breathing, the second one is concentration, the third one is control, the fourth is centering, the fifth is precision, and the sixth is flow. Now it's not that one is more important than the other, so don't worry about the order I've listed them in, but those are our six core principles. And like I said, in following videos, I'm gonna explain more to you about what they are, what they mean, and how you'll know if those are occurring in the instruction you're receiving, and how you can harness them to really get the most out of your Pilates.